was around 12 years old, my parents told me that my mother's favorite aunt and uncle would be coming to visit for a while. I had never met them, but my mom always spoke of them fondly. When they arrived, I was surprised to see them park their giant RV in front of our house, Christmas vacation style. <laughs> I love get it. that reference. I love yes. it. <laughs> they sat in our living room, strumming the auto harp, wailing out tinny bluegrass songs and telling stories of their colorful life living across the country in an RV. I knew that my uncle, let's call him John, had been a very successful businessman. So once they left, I asked my mom why they lived in an RV. She very calmly said... Oh, they're on the lamb and they're just traveling the country in the RV until the statute runs out. <laughs> you probably shouldn't tell any of your friends what their names are. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, they're on the lamb. I'm mom. I'm Carol, your mom. They're on the it's lamb. It's me, Carol. They're on the lamb. <laughs> As it turns out, Uncle John was wanted for a huge mail fraud scam. Oh, his brother, who was now in prison, was arrested first. But John and his wife got the heads up early. <laughs> so early enough to take off I asked my mom for more details And she said well for years Here's Carol Well for years they sent out advertisements in the mail For a penis enlargement product Once the men had mailed their checks in For the product all John and his brother Sent back to them were photos Of naked women <laughs> It's a penis enlargement It's sarcasm through the mail That's <laughs> fucked up Like they didn't have to send anything They could have just no. not responded And instead they were like Get They're it? Like, eh, 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 eh. Gotcha. 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 They made enough money to support two households. <laughs> so fuck. So apparently his quote successful business was not at all what I thought it had been. John's statute ran out over 20 years ago, but he and his wife got so used to living on lamb that they decided it was home and continued to live that way until he recently passed. I guess I'm glad that his ridiculous scheme ended up providing them with their dream lives. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I love you guys. Stay sexy and don't promise penis enlargements. Angela from Tulsa. Oh, <laughs> no, Angela. <laughs> penis enlargement. That is hijinks. Hijinks.